Hi sweet friends and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to share with you how I created beautiful and very simple wreaths for your front door. These could be used for spring or summer and they were so much fun to make and they were very affordable and very easy. So let's go ahead and get right into today's video. This spring wreath for my kitchen is so incredibly beautiful and it was super easy to make and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that. First, I'm gonna share where I got my items and what they are. So this is some floral foam that I picked up at Walmart and I'm showing you the tag for reference if you wanna go pick one up. And then I'm using a few things that I already had. I had this garland with some moss and then some lamb's ear. I didn't use the lamb's ear. But this is so pretty and it makes a really wonderful filler if you have some empty spaces in your wreath. You can just add little pieces of greenery and this lamb's ear is really soft and subtle looking so I really love using it. Most of the florals that I will be using are florals that I have had from years past. I didn't go out and buy anything new except for those bright pink florals that you see right here. I picked those up at Walmart as well. Whenever I make any type of wreath or an arrangement, I always start with my greenery. So I'm gonna start by laying my greenery down onto this piece of floral foam and to keep it in place, you can either use some hot glue I'm going to use some larger staples and I'm just gonna kind of stick those in there. And they aren't gonna hold the piece of garland on there really, really well. It's just kind of keeping it from moving around while I'm adding my florals. Because once you put your florals into this foam, it will also hold that greenery in there for you. So you really don't have to do this but I'm doing this to just kind of keep it in place while I'm adding the rest of my florals. You will see me so normally if I have all different sized florals, like if I have larger florals and then some smaller florals, I like to add my larger pieces first and then add in the smaller ones like filler. But mine are pretty much all the same size, so I'm just gonna kind of start by colors first and I wanted to start with all of the whites and I'm just kind of evenly spreading the white florals throughout and then I'll go with the other color like the pinks and then last I'm going to be adding my lavender because they do look a little bit differently and um, I just wasn't sure how I was gonna place those until I had the rest of my florals in here but this turned out so, so, so pretty. I love this, it was super easy and super quick and I cannot wait to make one for my front door. To attach this to the hook that I plan on hanging on the wall, I'm just going to use some floral wire, wrap that wire around my wreath, and then create a little bit of a loop, and it is that easy. You got me too. It doesn't have to cost you a fortune to make something really beautiful. And quite honestly, you could probably find most of these items very similar at the Dollar Tree. I know the white florals and possibly that lavender I did find at the Dollar Tree. And I've also seen those wreaths there before. They are a little bit smaller, but again, you can just use your creativity and make it work. And it does not have to cost a lot of money to do that. My 
I decided to leave the greenery and the white flowers that were already in here. So now I'm just adding the other white flowers that I purchased and then I'm going to add in those really adorable strawberries. If you are new to my channel and this is the very first video that you are watching of mine, I just want to quickly say thank you. And if you are a returning subscriber, I also want to say thank you to you as well. And I would love it if you clicked that subscribe button for my newbies if you haven't already. And make sure that you hit that notification bell as well. That way you get notified each and every time I upload a brand new video so you don't miss out on anything. For extra content, you can also follow me over on my Instagram. I will leave my handle up here on the screen. I will also leave a clickable link so you can go directly to my Instagram page and you can follow me there. And then right here for my door hanger, I am using a tin wall pocket that I found at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. And then I'm placing some greenery in here and then I'm adding some yellow florals and some lemons. I did end up taking some of those florals out and going with more lemons. I wasn't going to use lemons this year in my summer decor, but I just felt like they looked so incredibly cute here in this wall pocket that I'm using for my um, door piece. For this last wreath that I'm going to share with you, I used everything that I already had before but this can be used as a spring or a summer wreath. And since I like to use a lot of whites in my home, I picked the main color in this wreath to be white florals. I chose a couple different types of flowers for that. And then I'm using like this peachy cabbage rose. And I really love to use some type of garland to cover the foam and this works so well that way you're not buying a bunch of greenery and sticking that in there i just placed a mossy type garland over the top and just kind of have it sitting there so once you start sticking your florals in there it will keep that from moving around so you don't have to worry about gluing it down or anything like that and i really don't like to use hot glue because I always take my wreaths apart and redo them anyway. So I purchased these at the Dollar Tree. You can actually find some really pretty looking florals at the Dollar Tree and I like to use their florals as a filler. So I'm just gonna first place these sporadically throughout the wreath and then I'm going to go ahead and use that same concept working through the rest of my florals and then I'm gonna use my bigger florals towards the end.
And there you have it, super simple. All three of these were extremely easy to do and very affordable. I hope this kind of gave you an idea on how to throw something together yourself. Let me know in the comments which one of these three wreaths was your favorite and if you plan on making one as well. Thanks again for watching and I hope you guys all have an amazing day and be sure that you are subscribed and you have that notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.